That's that sound I like. Yeah. So I would say it's Jeff. This is David. This is Metal Gear Hi, Rising. <laughs> hey, you know it's a game I like. Devil May Cry. I do enjoy Devil May Cry. This is this is the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one. Is the it's the fifth one, but it's also the, the sixth, sixth one. one, right? Uh, are Devil there Cry three pretty boys on this screen right there now? There are three. Look, there are three pretty boys here. We're gonna do a little Nero, probably a little bit of V, just for flavor. Okay. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it could be anything. It no, could be anything. It could be anything that down there in the corner. Oh, mission select. Let's say, let's go way back to the beginning. Because, yep. you know, it's good All these start. things you have to blur out. <laughs> yes, yes. So did did uh, Nero two... rip his his arm off? Is that what happened? Uh, you mean the uh, the devil buster? Yeah. Uh, I'm, we're gonna go back to mission two. I'm gonna do a Nero mission, and then we'll we'll do a uh, we'll do a uh, a V mission. V's the new guy. Five thirty-two a.m. No more wheels from here. This is also the uh, right. mission that was Get in the demo. Uh. Yo yo yo, check it out. What? What is this? That's Nico. And this is from Morrison. I think it's his manifesto. And then there's text from Morrison. Who's Morrison? Morrison's hey, a is like a black guy that gets you jobs, Great. Um, which I, I think is explained in the prequel novel, which was released Any in Japan orders? only. <laughs> Great. Uh, this is Nico Goldstein. She is a gunsmith. She is purportedly the granddaughter of Nell Goldstein, who made Ebony and Ivory for Dante. Ooh, I know those names. <laughs> hey, yeah. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit of customizing. Okay. It's three main characters in this game. Mm-hmm. Nero, obviously, returning from four. He plays exactly like he does there, except with the addition of uh, his devil arm has been <laughs> ripped off in an earlier cutscene, which I think was like literally the first cutscene in the game. Okay. Uh, where it explains the myster a mysterious masked person comes by and is like, "Give me your arm," and then rips his arm off, and then. He uses a Yamato to do a dimension cut in order to step through time. Who knows who that could be? <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Look. It's, it's I'm not saying it's It's saying <laughs> that I'm saying that it's a person who uses the Yamato to do dimension cut and took back arm and said, I'm taking this back. This is mine. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> could be anyone. <laughs> could be anyone. Also, uh, he's got so uh, the Red Queen uh, has all the stuff. Well, we'll may, maybe we'll just get into it. I, I, I've not yeah. quite beaten it yet, um, but I have a long way to go. Go through the rest of the difficulties and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But uh, Vir uh, Vir <laughs> Nero's newest thing <laughs> is uh, his Devil Breakers, which are made by Nico here. So, mm -hmm. in order to replace his uh, demon arm, which has been uh, ripped off by somebody. Uh, we get to um, replace it with these these beautiful things, all of these different variety of things. I'll, I'll get a, a, a Gerb I'll get a few Gerberos because I really like them, but okay. uh, put them into my magazine. Uh, but the rest we'll just kind of find. We'll just play with. These are disposable oh, arms that you can overcharge and explode and have their own combos. Because the thing this game loves is every single mission adding new things for you to kill and ways to kill them. So. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Let's just add a few of these in here. Because why not? And then uh, we'll just go from there. Quick customization. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I got a bunch of bunch of combos. They're already there. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Nero, Nero... Nero plays like he does in okay. 4. Right. That's good. They Which kept all the sound he files had, he as well. Had, yes, of course. He has all of his... He has his gas-powered sword. Yep. That he can rev, and it's great. That's the one. That's right there. <laughs> uh, there's a. If you if you don't know anything about Devil May Cry, I don't know what uh, what kind of where where have you been? Yeah. This game is delightful because it's just full of references to older Devil May Cry games. 
um, in a good way, not in a pandering way. Oh, that's okay. I was about I mean, to ask. You said that bad thing like, like it was a good thing. Yeah, the, I mean, like, obviously Nero's here and Dante's here and they mm -hmm. added a new guy, V, which actually he plays completely different. He's he's a weirdo. Uh, but there's just a bunch of references to older DMC games, like I said, which are not pandering. Hmm. Uh, that kind of, like, I would say improves the mythology. Okay. We'll, so it's we'll, not we'll like, here's this character to have this character, it's, let's fill in a plot point. Also, there's yeah. a red balloon I feel like you should have taken a really good look at, but you didn't. It's just a solitary red balloon. That that little kid was, you are a monster. Also, really good sound design in this game. So if you've never played Devil May Cry 4, Nero plays by um, using his Exceed mode, which is the thing in the upper right corner. So if you if you tap the uh, the Rev trigger, which is L2 at the moment, you can you can charge up your Exceed, and then you have different styles for all of your attacks based on how many Exceed you have. Mm -hmm. But I also have the Instant Exceed or Max Act or whatever you want to call it, where if you tap it at the right frame. You'll get one back, and if you do it at the... I mm, wonder if I can actually do this. Uh, it's a one-frame window, I think, oh, so... Crap. All right, so what, 60th of a second? Yeah. Well, anyways, I'm getting the... If you get it at the one frame, it'll it'll fill all, all three up at once. Oh, wow. Uh, but his combat is basically doing these combos along and then tapping along with the rhythm of the fight so you can get the uh, the gas on the sword. Nice. Ah, uh, there, I had one there. Hey, right. Oh, cool. nice. <laughs> uh, and, then, uh, and then the newest thing, like I say, since he has these breakable arms, uh, I have these arm attacks which have their own combos. So let's go fight. Yeah, let's do the thing. Well, that looks slightly eldritch. Eldritch? Blah. A little bit. Big scary tree. Oh, I forgot how caveman that his face was. Yes. <laughs> Just super thick forehead on this boy. Did you just throw your arm? I did. Well, I was throwing. Let's do a little taunt here. Skill. Let's break the arm. So I'm doing the break attack, so that means that that arm is gone. That's all right, we've got others. <laughs> they, they're not quite dead yet, but I'm going to play a little guitar while I'm waiting for him to come back. <laughs> Yeah, he dead. All right. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah. We beat the easiest enemies in the game with style. Yeah. Nope. Continue. There we go. This, this, the, the one I have right now is sort of the, it's called the overture. All, all it basically does is just a lightning blast. And then if I charge it up, it'll, it'll do like a remote mine or sort of like a timed mine. Oh, okay. So what's the name of the uh, big bad as far as you know? Uh, well, the name at the beginning, because yep. it could be anyone, uh, is Urizen. Okay. I like his introduction because when you first see him, he's just creepy dude full on blood throne, like, you know, um, 40k style. And he wow. doesn't talk at all. Nice. Well, that's, that's a good way to make your villain, to guarantee your villain doesn't have a bad characterization. Oh, I got away. I should have been prioritizing the one that runs away. It's it's a good way to guarantee your villain doesn't have bad characterization. Is just don't let them speak. <laughs> he he does eventually speak, but oh, okay. I, I really like that the first time you see him with Nero, he doesn't even bother talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I want to use my Gerbera. The overture kind of is garbage. The demons doing in a city like this. Oh, there we go. The Gerbera. The, the Gerbera is like an air dodge. Oh. Your arm gives you your air dodge. 
Yes. Which, the air dodge is not something that Nero has by default, really. Actually, no one really does, except for Trickster Style, I suppose. Right. Is this guy just like a mimic? What is this dude? Nah, that's just a... It's just a walking it easy for me, huh? red orb pile. Okay. And now we're playing Dragon's Dogma? Oh man, if only. <laughs> if only you could do this in Dragon's Dogma. Look, the, the director, Itsuno, the director of this game, said that he did this game instead of Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh man, no! Just, just think, about, think on that. Oh. Alright, that's fine. I really hope they do a Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> yeah. I like that video game a lot. It's First very one. good. Here's, here's some other, you know, fodder enemies. This is the beginning of the game. They don't really do anything. Plus, I like to do air combos anyways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Devil May Cry. Let's do a little, a little mocking there. Oh, there you go. can knock their hats off. That's fun. Or that one just didn't have a hat to begin with. So what do you think of the music in the game? Uh, it's great. Oop, that's right, I can actually run at this guy. No, 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 come back. <laughs> oh, he died. This is the problem with the um, default difficulty. <laughs> Everything dies super um, quick. Yeah, so you have to, but like this a minor criticism for the game is that um, it has the same progression of difficulties as they all do, which is you have to go through Devil Hunter, then you have to go through the Son of Sparta in order to get to where you actually want to be, which is, you know, Dante must die, God must die, heaven and hell mode, etc., mm -hmm. etc. So there's a little bit of that where oh, you some can pick of these... up arms in the level. You sure can. Huh. So th there's a little bit of I don't know, there's some guys down there. Yeah, there's some dudes down there. Yeah. yeah. Break this. Come back. Get over here. Did he steal your arm? Uh, I put my arm into him as a proxy mine. <laughs> oh, okay. Shall we dance? Uh, the uh, the taunts are dependent on the uh, style rank. Oh, nice. So that's why you played air guitar. Yes, at that one point, I played the double S air guitar. Also, it depends on whether or not you've locked on, apparently. Yeah, okay. Make it there before you do, v. Oh, that... The multiplayer in this game is kind of weird. It's okay. not like a co-op mode. It's more of... So, Virgil's ass. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Virgil's ass, which is another player... <laughs> <laughs> so we can see over in the corner there that there's you know some action going on right uh, whenever you if you're playing online it'll download like the recorded data of a fight from another person that was in the area okay uh, on their own mission doing their own sort of style and stuff so this is Virgil's ass uh, That's playing his as name. B uh huh <laughs> <laughs> we can at least look I can neither confirm nor deny anything but I can say that it is at least true that Virgil's ass is in the game <laughs> the heights to which some people aspire <laughs> truly oh that's gross let's, let, 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 let's, let's get the yep let's yeah. halt nope stand grab the thing grab the gooey thing put the gooey thing in the other thing don't put it in your pocket because why why not put it in the pocket oh this whole thing is gross this whole well, thing we'll, is okay. We, we 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 know what happens. You put it in, and it breaks the thing, and then yeah. there you go. I'll uh, I'll speed this up a little bit because I do want to show some V as well. Uh -huh. uh, oh, a useful feature. If I click in the stick, it'll tell me where I'm supposed to go, so I can go the other way. 
and pick up a, stuff. Get a Gerbera. There we go. A Gerbera. Uh, my good old. I love my little Gerbera. Uh, I haven't done the item what? crash of the Gerbera it's yet. Uh, that thing is special, and I love it. So, okay. We'll we'll see that soon enough. Percentage-wise, how many of your moves have you unlocked for how Nero? About, uh, how many of what? How many of your rooms have you unlocked for Nero? Like the ones you buy? Uh, how many of the moves? Yeah. Or arms. Moves. moves. Uh, I'd say I'm probably about maybe like seventy percent overall. Okay. Uh, but I've also spent a lot of points into this him, again. and it's also. Um, you get more moves as you go through the difficulties as well, according mm -hmm. at least according to the internet. Okay. So you, you won't get like 100% until you're done with DMD, I, I imagine. Okay, right. grab that thing. Hi. Ah, oh, come on. Can you do a very mad about counter, that. counter dodge thing? Well. That was a great job. Not that you're talking to them. Yeah, that's not the move I wanted. Bring it in, and then that's the one. There it is. Smack, smack. Nope, keep smacking. Not done smack. Oh, okay. Again, I'm so. They're just too squishy. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. It's all right. We, I can at least do some combos on the boss. Let me just get to the boss. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've already done this area, so. Yeah, I've already done this. And this is also mostly um what was in the demo. Right. This whole middle area with the, the Nidhogg hatchlings is actually not in the demo. But, I mean, they just kind of truncated it for the, the sake of the demo. But, right. anyways. This is the boss? Yeah, that's just some more Clypot roots. Ah. Uh. Secret mission. Said to stand in the spot and line it up. There it is. Yeah. Anyways, we're not, I'm gonna do the secret mission at the moment. Also, okay. it's one of the easier ones because it's in the beginning, and you know it's right. They, only... they don't get bizarre and um, frustrating until the end. So. Right. They're not as much fun to watch at the beginning. All right. Let's let's break our Gerbera. Let's get a triple S going. I think we can do it here. <laughs> okay. This'll do. Just give him a little taste of the good shit. What a beautiful video game. What is this on? What is this on? What, what systems is this on? Uh, it's on basically all of the regular systems. So if I go on Steam right now, I can just buy it? You could. Let me do another one. Yeah. In case we get a little, a little more of that capital G, capital S, good, you know, stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, if I had, if I had the spare money, I would just buy this game right now. Looking good, baby. Make love to the camera. Okay. You didn't make that it. That was tasty. <laughs> that was just good. Oh, cool. I got another max act. It always feels good when I get that, that one frame. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is the Clifot tree. Really sick of this which, if you're familiar with Jewish mysticism, of course, the is the tree of death, the sort of like... Um, counterpoint to the Sephiroth? The counterpoint to the Sephiroth, exactly. So the yeah. Clifot is sort of the emanations of... I don't know, like death. I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm not a expert in Jewish mysticism or Kabbalistic mysticism. Yeah, we just but know I it. I have from... read a Wikipedia article and seen Evangelion once, so I'm, we ba also well, I'm basically an expert. We also played Persona 3, so... Yeah. <laughs> Where the health teacher, for some reason, just talked about it for a long time. <laughs> that didn't look like it hit the bug, but... Get over here. So get far, of, of the no, over of the three, the Nero and Dante, who do you like playing as the most? 
Uh, I like playing as Nero the most because it's the most familiar and I'm, I'm the best at making the combos. Okay. V is the weirdest, <laughs> which we'll get to. <laughs> Are you not gonna grab that Gerbera? Gerbera? I will. I'm gonna have to come back out here, so. Oh, you will? Okay. Yeah, because there's the. I just have to grab the oh. Nidhogg hatchling. Dante is um, extremely complicated. Right, because it's all four styles, right? Yeah, it's all much, much like he plays in Devil May Cry Four. Like the D-pad, you just switch between all the styles that you had available in DMC um, three. three. Yeah. Except that now you also have the triggers, which switch between all of the guns and weapons you have, and each of the guns and weapons have their own, like, meters now. What? <laughs> you know, as, as if it were, like, a Monster Hunter game or a fighting game, where it's like, oh, this is how this particular weapon works. It's, it has mode shifting, and one of them is, like, tap-based, and the other one is held-based, and you can switch by pressing back and Y, and, you know. But that's just, wow. like... They each have their own individual thing. These guys suck because they just keep attacking on the ground, so okay. I really need to get them up into the air okay. for best results. So let's try and do that. So this is like that Bayonetta thing where you kept telling me, no, get it up in the air. Get it. They can't attack you when they're up in the air. Exactly. That's... Yeah. That's what I want. This guy doesn't have his weird goo on. But I can also maybe just blast them with a laser? <laughs> so that's fun too. <laughs> I mean, you did just get a free one. Oh, he died. Well, okay. Well, alright. It was just the intro to him anyways. I didn't want to fight him any- who cares? <laughs> Whatever. I don't, I don't want Whatever to fight man. him anyway. Yeah. Oh, I met, uh, went, went past the, uh, the button. There was a button? Oh, yep. Yeah, ba ba yeah, basically. Uh, uh, wait, nope, stand. There we go. All right, I put it in, it does the thing. All thank right. you. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this new arm is pretty sweet. It sure is. He adapted to that very quickly. He sure did. I mean, his last arm wasn't, like, a thing, so it wasn't really his, so I guess he's used to not having his normal arm. Phone still works. So the I phones are to call Nico. To Tell you what, you call me from now on, and, I'll hustle on over. and if there's a phone, she will arrive shortly, and it gets increasingly ridiculous, and I love it. <laughs> Oh, so they do a cutscene of her showing up every time? Yes, every time there's a different cutscene, and it gets bizarre. What does that license plate say? <laughs> don't know. Just kind of... Uh, like, maybe, like, OVL5 or DL, DVL5, maybe, like, Devil, Devil 5, 5, maybe... N and then something, so... I mean, the tire is something, Devil May Cry something, something. brand, so... I mean, yeah. Oh, jeez. No, it's, right. it's the Devil May Cry truck. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a van, but... Yeah, that's true. Okay. What can I get here? Maybe I can just get, like, one new thing, just for funsies. Queen combo D, haven't gotten yet. Ooh, hard way. Look at this one. Okay, yeah. so this is on-ground hold release. Has a useful tryout feature. Did it say try it out some void? <laughs> yeah, this is the void, where you just try out crap. Huh. Uh, you can you can pick what monster you can say if they have you know damage or if they try and fight back. So this one it, it's just you know stand in there minding its own business. So this one is just hold Y neutral Y on the ground. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. Okay. okay, that's about as far as it travels. So it's it's a close in kind of thing. It's always nice to have those. Yeah. He is... He is just no-selling everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's sort of like a, a harder enemy, but it, uh, does, it does not flinch quite as easily as the uh, little guys that are in this mission. Right, that are just kind of like flying uh, everywhere. Yeah, we'll learn that. Why not? We'll put that in the arsenal. I think I've got all, almost, all, almost all of the Red Queen combos. Oh, Table Hopper, will I ever remember that I can use you? Mm, <laughs> probably not. I assume Table Harp Hopper is like a Mario Stomp kind of thing? 
Uh, no, it's a um, last minute uh, dodge. So in this game, and this is more difficult than it needs to be, but it's a Devil May Cry thing where you have to hold um, uh, R1 to do the um, lock on. And then if you press left or right relative to the lock on and then uh, jump, you'll do the dodge. Mm -hmm. So this is your mostly invincible dodge roll. Uh, you also have invincibility frames to start up on your jump, on a ground jump, not on the second jump. Right. So you don't have a lot of invincibility options in the air, but you're a lot safer from ground attacks in the air. Anyways, that's just kind of a Devil May Cry thing. But uh, if you do one of these rolls right as you get hit by an attack, then it, it does a, a special flourish, and then you can sort of do like a teleport sidestep. Again, I just, I just forget. That that's available. <laughs> you forget that's maybe, a maybe thing I'll you can do. Maybe I'll accidentally intentionally do it here, the boss fight. Maybe. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Somebody call a doctor? Oh. Human! Oh, it's that voice actor. Whose name I can never remember. Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here, about this big, uses a cane? I was supposed to meet him. Did you snack on him? Your blood uh, is a very precious sacrifice. This guy's got a lot of mouths and eyes. every last drop to move the underworld as king. Oh, he has eyes on his chest, too. King? Mm-hmm. You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle-scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Yeah, no offense. Another mouth. It's like Gurren Logon over here. <laughs> cool trick. Hey, do you do parties? The incandescent colossus. <laughs> nice. Hey, look, I did the table hopper. <laughs> hey, nice. You did remember. <laughs> How useful is it to do the uh, overcharges on bosses? Let's see. Very, for the most part. Okay. Ah, uh, thought I could get inside of that one. Disappointing. Yeah. To get highest rank, do you have to not get hit ever? Nope. Okay, that's, that's not true. Good. That's good. But you, 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 it does break your uh, style combo, actually. Well, that. <laughs> Who's up next? He's, uh, That's he'll be out here in a second. Super effective, that thing he's doing. Oh, he's got a ground pound. That's nice. Oh, too early. Does that have as much health as you normally have? No. Okay. I've, uh, improved the health a lot. Okay. Oh. 
There's a uh, break in the air. Let's do punchline. I'm just gonna ride my hand a little bit, as you do. <laughs> oh wait, you get a rocket punch that you can ride. You know. Ooh, grab another one of these. Wow. Ah, dang it. Oop. Rotated. Oop. Oh, does the lock on have like a smaller symbol around it if his health is low? Mm, yes. Wow. Oh. That's something that started in DM DMC3. If uh, if I hold R1, you can see the percentage of his health that's remaining. Yeah, okay. So they grab attack. Yep. But I can break out of it by just breaking my arm. So oh, nice. I do that. Are you out of arms? Let me just. I am out of arms. <laughs> Wait for him to explode. Oh, but you still have your grappling. I don't really right? need. There yeah, he did. Nice. Not quite the stylish finish of the laser beam, but that's, that's fine. That's that's the flow. That's the Nero style. <laughs> the other people are completely different. <laughs> I curse my stars in pit of grief and woe. That made my love so high and me so low. They put Kylo Ren in this game? They put Kylo Ren in this game and they had him read Shakespeare and it's so good. That would be V. Yeah, I assumed. Uh-huh. I be home. It's great when the little poke is all it takes. I thought I was gonna have to pick you out of his uh tummy teeth. Pardon my delay. I was catching up on some reading. Yeah. Looks like a real page turner. Huh. You broke the tree. So, uh, mm -hmm. you think Dante's We're all still in there? If yours and defeated him, then I expect he's not much more than Clyphod pollen by now. A what? Clyphod. It's a tree that grows in the underworld. It thrives on human blood and. There's a lot of blood in this game. Well, they have some pretty good blood tech. Let's just say they don't turn out too well. <laughs> well, in any case, we need to find out. If Dante's alive, we'll save him. If not, we don't. Wait. First, we need to exterminate some Clyphod roots. And the rest. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Look. The, the cutscenes are great. I like the characters. But ye, you get the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now we're going to... Get an S. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize the little face next to the red orb symbol. Now, would you rate Virgil's ass as stylish? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, I would. All right. Thumbs up. You would jump into one of the V missions here. Yeah. Early ones, naturally. Yeah, yeah. V is a sorcerer summoner and all of his abilities are through his pet demons so he doesn't actually do any direct fighting oh okay even though he has that cane sword yeah the cane sword is literally just to finish things off oh okay cool so the, the pets go and drain the life force and once they turn to ash you go up and you just poke them once and then that's the finishing move V is very weird I'm not very good with V I will try and explain as best I can how view perks. <laughs> He's got a big bird. So v, you think this kid can kill uh, that's Griffin. One can only hope. Griffin McElroy? Yes, Griffin McElroy. <laughs> but for now, we have a more pressing engagement. 
He's basically Adam Driver. Yeah. They, <laughs> As mentioned, kind of looks exactly like, like him. him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Star Wars movies are popular. They are. So Griffin is basically like your gun. So all of his attacks are on the X button, which mm -hmm. is what I have it set to for this. Uh, Shadow is basically your melee fighter. It has all of its attacks on the Y button. And then Nightmare is basically your devil trigger. Or use devil triggers to summon Nightmare in. And it just work. It works autonomously. Oh, okay. So it's uh, V is just about getting devil trigger magic bars and then expending them on your pets, um, staying out of the way of the enemies. And then once they turn gray because they've been damaged, just going over and doing boop, okay. finishing them off. That's the idea. Let's see what do you, what do you remember about Devil May Cry One? Devil May Cry One. Yes. Uh, that I didn't like it as much as the others, but it uh, it had like now the flaming work. scorpion spider. Fry. It had the lightning what? bird. Oh, Griffin! Uh, it had the lightning bird. Griffin. Oh, yeah, you mean it had a it had Griffin? Did did have one of these guys that could uh, turn their head into a spike, and then you could jump on it? Sure is it? One one of those things too. I don't remember uh, was, that. <laughs> was nightmare, for instance, one of the bosses and weapons you could get? Oh yeah. All, all all I'm saying is that V, who could be anyone, has all of basically the boss characters from Devil May Cry One as his demon summons. Huh. This is probably not related to anything. <laughs> I don't remember the, the boss oh, of Jesus, Demo Cry careful. 1. Yeah, no shit, Shirley, in there, right? I mean, you are fragile at the moment. Wouldn't take much to wipe you out. I do like situation. that. It, I'm just this is true. Running away is okay. V it's is fragile. Okay away. You can <laughs> he who desires but act not breeds pestilence. So it is written. Okay, Shakespeare. Just remember this. You and I like to exist, so get rid of those demons quick, cause killing them ain't my stick! I got your back! Cause dying is whack! Shadow does not talk. Cause he's a kitty. So, basically you just kind of like, be cool guy and ignore everything, while trying to do combos with, uh, with your pets. Okay. Uh, also there's a dedicated button to pull out your book and just start reading. Also, this is starring Death to Zod. Also, his taunts are usually like him, like bending over in pain and coughing, <laughs> which is great. Huh. What is that? That's a little tiny nightmare. Huh. Oh. <laughs> There's another taunt, yep. which is great. Oh, police just went by oh. my apartment. That's new. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll bring in some Nightmare in the next one. Okay. Is um, that v is, Graffiti of V? v is, he's, hard, he's hard to control because I, there's a lot of holding buttons down. So, like, I'm holding down to read the book in order to recharge my magic, but you can also hold down to target. And then your, your combos are on Y for your shadow and then X for this other guy. They have their own combo trees. So there's a lot of things going on. Okay. It's, uh, but you can, you can infuse <laughs> them with like devil trigger in order for them to act autonomously. So you can kind of just not worry about it for a little bit. Yeah. Which I find useful, especially I just like put one on auto and then just kind of guide the other. Yeah. Uh, and Antares should be somewhere in the background over there. Who? Uh, and Tari is just the, the the starring in the corner, just another player. Oh, okay. Because that that's looking over into one of Nero levels. Yeah, oh, there's you see him in the corner over there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a glowy up there. Hmm. Yeah, but that's fine. Those just gonna be extra red orbs. Oh, okay. Some hellbats. Let's bring in nightmare. 
Okay. Also, they have all their moves from the game, so I mean, like, this annoying attack where they jump into the air. If you hold down Y, I've got it so they do the hedgehog, which, again, <laughs> is, a th is just a thing that happens. Yeah. But let's get Nightmare in here. Oh, hey, your hair went white. Yep, I'm in devil trigger mode. Nightmare's not doing much. Oh, lasers. Okay. So you're saying this isn't the boss from Dumb I Cry 1? Uh, Nightmare is. <laughs> I'm saying B, but yeah. Uh, no, of course not. B was not in Dumb I Cry 1. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Oh. And go charge up some of my devil trigger while, while those guys blast that pool. So if you hear my little kitties crying in the background, it's because they're going in for a teeth cleaning tomorrow, which means they're getting put under general anesthesia or just anesthesia. So mm -hmm. I can't give them food tonight Aww. after nine. So they're both starting getting a little sad. Let's get down. Let's 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 do some more. Oh, let's cut hey, some more enemies. Oh, yeah, I've, I've already been there. That's that's the introduction to the old nightmare. And he's gone, because you already used it. If you time your... Uh, there's, there's a ability called touch and go, which is if you time uh, your breaks for these guys at the right moment, you can go one after another. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah. They only stay broken for a second, apparently, though. They're pretty much going to stay that way for a while. Let's see if I can get two of them. Nope. Let's see if I can get the combo. Oh, that would have been it, but he yeah. wasn't available. Oh, well. Let's get Nightmare back here. Do some Question. stuff. <laughs> Question. Uh... Do you ever get tired of his the things he says, or does it just drown out eventually? Uh, it kind of drowns out. I was kind of disappointed that it's not literally like an entire Shakespeare play. It seems to only have like a few lines there. Mm -hmm. So you said that he is fragile. Yeah. How, that is to how say physically weak? Okay. Like how many? I mean, like, he does, he does he take not fewer have hits, or gameplay-wise, he's he's just a character. But okay. Story-wise, his you know he doesn't have a lot of you know he's a, a glass cannon. Right. It, it might be true that he has less defense than the other characters. I don't really know. I mean, you really don't want to be getting hit anyways. Mm -hmm. but, so I'm just not sure. Okay. Yep, is it? Yep, uh-huh. I think, I think I, the I'm game wants you to uh, to hit that. Get him, kitty. That's a good kitty. That's a good kitty. You're <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the game is great. The combat is so on point, which is great because that's like what you want. Unlike Devil May Cry 4, which was half a game, which was repeated. 
Again. Yes. Uh, oh. There's there's not there's not any like you fight the fight a boss with one dude and it says oh you have defeated me I will come back to ten missions from now for the refight. You just kill him uh, and you move on <laughs> and there's just more bosses. There's bosses everywhere. There's tons of references to old Devil May Cry games which I love. Like mm -hmm. I said, like, you have the character V. You could stand for anything. Could stand for anything, yeah. It could stand for anything. It's someone that uses all of the, the creatures from Devil May Cry 1 as like his summons, which is great. I was like, oh, that's neat. I was like, do they have the same moves? They do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's nice. Uh, but but it, like I said, it's not just pandering. I mean, Lady and Trish are in here too. Of course they uh, are. They, you know, you'll, you'll find them eventually. Um... Like I said, it's it's not pandering because it'll be a reference. It'll be like here's something that happened in Devil May Cry One, uh, but you know there's a twist on it. So like this, obviously you're using them as you know summon familiars. So that's kind of a twist. Mm. But it's still like oh yeah, I remember that thing. That's cool. Okay, yeah, I see what you're doing. Uh, there's some very good music in this game, with some very uh, disparate genres as well. You got your you got your great butt rock. You've got your like pop. Metalcore combo fusion, which is pretty good with like Nero. There's like some weird Apex Twin sounding IDM like nonsense in some of the <laughs> boss fights. <laughs> and there's just some like really good trip hop chill chill tunes that they're just plays when you're like in, in Nico's little van, just like buying stuff. Nice. I'm very excited. I'm going to stop talking now because <laughs> I'm coming to go back to those games. Devil May Cry Five. Devil May Cry Five. It's it, a good. It's a good one. It looks really good. Uh, if you have enjoyed this and you enjoy any of our other content, feel free to go to Patreon where you can support us monthly or do the tip thing or like, comment, subscribe. We love making this stuff and uh, doing that kind of stuff makes it easier for us to do it for y'all. Tell me cry. Bye. <laughs>